Hey, what's up guys? In this video, we're gonna color grade this footage which was shot on the Lumix GH5 in a standard picture style 10 bit 422. The look or grading that I'm going for is orange and teal. And here is what we're gonna do. First, we're gonna color correct the footage using Colorista plugin. Then we're gonna color grade the footage using the Lumetri color and a lookup table or a loot. And both the loot and Colorista plugins are part of the downloads. You'll find them in the resource folder or you can download them via the link in the description below. And without wasting time, let's get started. All right, here we are in Adobe Premiere Pro 2022. The first thing we are going to do is to color correct the footage using Colorista plugin. By the way, Colorista is a professional color correcting plugin with a very streamlined workflow found in Premiere Pro and After Effects. So I'm gonna go to the Effects panel and search for Colorista plugin. There it is, and I'll drop it onto our footage. Then I will come to the Lumetri Scopes and make sure I have the waveform selected. Looking at the waveform, I can already tell that the picture is too bright in the highlights. So I will go to the effects control, colorista plugin and open guided color correction. And I'm gonna click continue. On the color space, we have to select what picture style we used for this video. So we have video, flat video, log. If you don't know, you just simply click, I don't know. But in this case, I know I used the standard video. So I'm going to select video and press next. On the black level, you can see it has a suggestion marker. So I'm gonna move the slider to where it is suggesting. If you pass by this marker or you overdo it, it will clip the blacks and you will know it when you start seeing blue colors in the blacks. Just know you are overdoing it and losing information in the blacks. So just somewhere around here should be perfect. Then press next. On the white levels, you can see it has a suggestion here, but I'm going to reduce the whites a bit past the suggesting point because I can start to see the pore is getting blown out here. So I will push it further and press next. On the mid tones, you can see where it is suggesting but I'm gonna make it slightly darker because the picture was too bright and click next. On contrast, I'm just going to bring it to the suggested mark, then press next. On saturation, I'm just gonna bring it just before the suggested marker. I don't want it to be too much saturated, but I want to see some colors. So I'm gonna leave it here and press next. On color balance, since I don't have anything that is neutral gray, I'm gonna change it to skin tone by pressing this arrow pointing down and selecting skin tone. Then pick the eyedropper and select the skin tone and it will automatically adjust the color balance for me. Then I press next. You can see the before and after which looks pretty great. Then I'm gonna click finish. When you look at the waveform again, you can see that the blacks are barely touching zero IRE and the whites are no longer hitting the top. The next thing is we shall add our loot in the Lumetri color. So I will go to the Lumetri color, then go to creative section, then under look, I will browse for the loot that we want to use for this color grading. Once again, the loot is in the resource folder. You can find it there. And the loot that I'm gonna use is this IWLT BAP Sedona standard. You can see what we already have just by adding that loot. But I'm just gonna decrease the intensity maybe to 50%. I can see that the highlights or rather the shadows are still a bit high. So I'm gonna go to the basic correction and increase the contrast a bit. Then reduce the highlights a bit as well, maybe to somewhere around here. Then I'm gonna come to the HSL secondary to work on the skin color a little bit. I want to brighten the shadows in the skin tone. I will also make sure that the vector scope YUV is selected because I want to work on the color of the skin. So with the HSL secondary, I'm going to click on this eyedropper and select on the skin. And then I'm gonna go to pick this add eyedropper and select portions of the skin to make sure that only the skin is selected. 
For me to pull out a perfect key of the skin, I will check this box here. Then I will move the HSL sliders to make sure I only have the skin color selected. Then I'm gonna come to the denoise and make it 10. Blur, make it 10 as well to just help blend the colors properly. On the correction, I'm gonna select this button to switch to shadows, midtones, and highlights. Then I'm gonna take the shadows a bit higher, then midtones as well a bit higher, and push the colors on the color wheel towards the orangish color. Remember, this is only affecting the skin tone and the skin color. I'm also just going to push the colors towards the orangish direction in the highlights as well. I can see that the colors are too vibrant. So I'm going to reduce the saturation maybe to 95. And then I'm going to also reduce the contrast as well, maybe to negative 4. If I draw a mask around the skin tone, you can see on the vector scope YUV that they are lying on the correct line where they're supposed to be. Then I'm gonna right click on the Lumetri color in the effects control window and rename it Loot. The next thing that I want to work on is the background. I can see the sky is also very bright competing with the skin tone. So I'm gonna add another instance of Lumetri color on the basic correction, I want to reduce the highlights a bit, maybe to negative 24. Then the shadows as well, maybe to negative 13. Then I'm going to increase a bit of contrast, maybe to around uh, 17. From there, I'm going to come to HSL secondary and I'll key out the skin tone again. So I'm going to pick this eyedropper, select the skin, and then select the add eyedropper and select more portions of the skin just like this. Let me check the color gray box so that I can pull the skin tone clearly with the help of these sliders. After the skin tone is perfectly selected, I will press this square button here that looks like a picture thumbnail to invert the selection. This means that whatever that I'll be adjusting, it will only affect the background. The skin will remain unaffected. Then I'll come to the refine section and on denoise, I will put maybe eight. On the blur, I will put maybe eight as well. On the correction, I will come to the temperature and reduce it all the way up to somewhere around maybe negative 24. Then maybe I reduce the contrast a bit, maybe to negative four. Then I'll go to the color wheels and reduce the shadows a bit down. Then I will add a little bit of blue in the shadows. I will leave the mid-tones alone. Then I'll come straight to the highlights and add a little bit of orange to compensate for the bluish that I have just added in the shadows. And that's all on this Lumetri. You can see the difference. So far, I'm happy and remember, this is just really a personal test. So you can do whatever that you really think it works for you. But I'm just also trying to show you how these tools work together. Let me rename this Lumetri color as background. But looking at this image, I can see a few things have shifted. The image is a bit underexposed. I can also see her bum shot is affected because initially this bum shot was kind of maroon but the color has shifted even the sky looks a little bit too teal for my liking so i'm gonna try and correct all these issues now what i'll do is i will add another instance of lumetri color then increase the exposure a little bit maybe to 0.6 and then reduce the highlights a little maybe to negative 16 then the shadows as well, let me reduce them to somewhere around here, uh, let's say negative 38. Then I will come to the creative section and I'm gonna go to the adjustments and on the faded film, I'm gonna make it 25 to add a little bit of that film washed look. Then I'll come to the sharpness and increase it all the way to somewhere around uh, 30, 35. And lastly, I'm gonna increase vibrance 
to somewhere around 30 because I want the image to pop. This is a music video, not a movie. The skin tone looks a bit yellowish for me. If I come to the Lumetri Scopes Vector Scope YUV, then draw a mask around the skin. You can see what I'm talking about. It is not exactly on the line it should be. So I'm going to come to the curves, hue saturation curves, then I'm going to come to hue versus hue. I'm going to correct that by taking this eyedropper, click on the skin tone and push it towards the reddish whilst checking on the vector scope, somewhere around here. And I will pick the eyedropper again and select her bum shot so that I can correct the colors and push it a little bit towards the reddish direction. I can see it is not working quite well, so I'm gonna go to the HSL secondary, pick the eyedropper, this time I'm gonna select her bum shot. Refine, I'm just gonna make the denoise 10 and blare, I'm gonna make it 10 as well. Then just increase the tint to about here, around 16. You can see the bum shot is the only thing that is being affected here. And I think I'm gonna leave it here, but you can continue to still play around with it, change a few things. But for me, this is exactly what I wanted to achieve. You can see the before and the after. Then I'll take these Lumetric colors, copy them and paste on the other clips and continue to adjust them separately. That is it guys, I have covered a lot of these tools, especially the Lumetric color tools in a very long separate video where I went through each and every adjustment and explained what it does. So if there's anything that you didn't understand, you can just watch that video again, you will find this project in the resource folder and the clips that we have used for you to practice otherwise this is it i'll catch you in the next color grading video peace